I am so tired of seeing this question and or comment in multiple YouTube videos. I cannot peek at the comments without seeing someone ask this question and they ask it like a gotcha. Mm. They ask it like they they got me, they got me, bro. When they ask this question. And you know guys know you guys know what the what the question is? The question is, what do you mean bless God? You can't bless God. God blesses us. Oh, right? You can't bless God. God blesses you. And I always respond with something snarky, like Bible verses, and then more Bible, less YouTube for you. But it is infuriating. The It's not just a question. It's the, the question under the question. It's this like, I'm going to own you, little bro, undertone underneath the question. Heresy hunter. You can't bless God. You can't bless God. God blesses us. And so I thought, despite us, by the way, putting two verses, and every time I say this channel exists to encourage, empower, and inspire you to live a life that blesses God, make sure you're subscribed. As a huge percentage of people that watch this channel regularly are not subscribed. Even though it goes... And we show you that every video, every video, <laughs> there's two Bible verses that clearly show the, the, the statement in the Bible. I said, you know what? I'm so, we're just going to, we're just going to do this market and we will never have to talk about the meaning of bless God ever again. You just send the link. Ever again. Just, just this link, put these verses in the daggone description of the video. I mean, in the, in, the, in the description of the channel, let me get this off my chest. Matter of fact, I'm not, I'm, this isn't even me. This is, we're just going to go Bible. Those of you guys are like, why don't you push the Bible, bro? This is it. This is the video for you. This is the video. Straight, straight Bible. All right. First one, Deuteronomy chapter eight. Excuse me. Deuteronomy chapter eight, verse 10. When you have eaten and are satisfied, this is to the children of Israel, you shall what? Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord your God for the good land and which he has given you. By the way, this isn't an exhaustive list of all the verses. This is just the ones I felt like highlighting because I thought they were good. When you have eaten and are satisfied, you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. This verse is crucial because it says when. So when the children of Israel receive the promise that God will take care of them and make their provisions, the proper response is that you're going to bless the Lord your God for the good, good land which he has given you. So there's actually a lot in this verse about us consuming the promises of God, God taking care of us, providing our provisions, and then our reasonable response and our duty is to bless God for the land which he has given, given us, okay? And, 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 and uh, the things that she has given us. Let's go to the next verse. There's a lot of verses here. Next verse. This is Psalm. This is this is actually the the verse in every video. This video. This is, I'm not on Adderall. I'm on, I'm on Mate and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> All right? This is Psalm. Or is it? No, this is. Yeah, yeah. At the, at the beginning of every video. Go back and watch the beginning of every video. This is the verse there. Bless who? God. Bless God. Wow. In the congregations, even the Lord, you who are of the fountain of Israel. There it is again. Bless God in the congregations, even the Lord, you who are of the fountain of Israel. By the way, I'm not on no like KJV. This is just a regular, <laughs> this is the NASB 2020. This isn't like old English from 500 years ago or some dead language, right? Let's go to the next one. Here's Daniel. Daniel, chapter 2, verse 19. Then the secret was revealed to Daniel. This is Daniel getting the vision from King for, for King Nebuchadnezzar. Then the secret was revealed to Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel did what? Blessed the God of heaven. Then Daniel, before he revealed the vision, he blessed the God of heaven. mm 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 mm, -mm. And then he goes on to reveal what the vision was. Let's keep going. Luke, this is this is my favorite one. Mm. Okay, this is baby Jesus. Everyone loves baby Jesus. Even mm. if you're not a Christian, you love baby Jesus. Little baby Jesus in a manger. Yeah, classic. Right? It's classic, right? So this is Simeon in the temple. And when Simeon encounters baby Jesus, because it was prophesied that Simeon would see G the Messiah in his lifetime, and he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought it to the brought in the child to carry out for him the custom of the law. Then he took him in his arms and did what? Blessed God. Dad, you're right. And then this is the one that's on our prayer. Bless God prayer journal. If you don't got our Bless God prayer journal, stop playing yourself. You're, 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 you're playing around. This is Bless God in oh, the, the verse that's on our prayer journal, Ephesians chapter 1. One of our favorite books in the Bible. Bless who? Blessed be the God. Blessed be the God 
and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, shout out to all the Calvinists, that we would be holy and blameless before him in love. He predestined us to adoption as sons and daughters through Jesus Christ to himself. So, it's not nothing. Blessed, blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, but to bless God just simply means to give God the glory and the praise. That's what that means. It doesn't mean we're going to give God a supernatural affirmation with our words. It doesn't mean anything goofy like that. It God just, needs a pat on the back. From God us. doesn't need a pat on the back <laughs> from us, right? It just means we're going to. Praise God. Instead of always chasing the blessing from the master's hand, what if we just wanted to grow closer to the master? That's what that means. Living a life that blesses God. That's what that means. So I'm so tired of being of seeing this in the comments. And I think we just need to just 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 put it to rest. No more questions about this. If you see these sorts of questions in the chat, in the comments, just send people to this video. And we'll be done with it. We'll never have to talk about it again. Deal? Deal. According to the Bible, that prayer is extremely important in terms of us being transformed from the inside out when we get aligned with God's will. For the Christians watching this channel, I want you guys to implement these spiritual disciplines in your day-to-day -day life. And the only way I've been able to do this consistently is through writing down my prayers in a prayer journal that does a few things. One, it allows me to reflect and come to God humbly and ask him to move on my behalf. And two, it allows me to document my prayers, which ultimately helped me remember the very things that I was praying for and see the hand of God tangibly in my life when he answers them. So I would urge you, consider writing down your prayers. It could be in a blank notebook. It could even be on your phone. Or you could check out the one I personally designed and used for my own quiet time and spiritual discipline that I think will be a huge blessing. It's the exact structure and system that I've used for years to pray and be more consistent in my spiritual disciplines. You can pick yours up today by clicking the link in the pinned comment below. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.